I know that's what you and uh, your friends do here at the Hasty. One of the changes that you have enacted was the designation of our school as a finance academy in 2012. What was your role in making this change, and how was the decision made? Well, my job is to make policy recommendations to the school board, and uh, there has been a tremendous amount of emphasis uh, over the last uh, several years uh, on making sure that uh, all of the core academic subjects uh, are uh, addressed in school, uh, reading and writing and math and what have you. Uh, from my personal standpoint, uh, I wanted to make sure that we didn't leave out something very important, and that's the fine arts. Uh, and uh, so when there was an opportunity for us to create uh, a couple of fine arts academies, uh, we, uh, uh, we seized that opportunity. Uh, I was uh, uh, in the band, uh, in an orchestra when I was in high school. Uh, uh, I'm not in the marching band anymore, but uh, I do still play the piano. Uh, I try to go to concerts and plays and operas. And uh, I think that uh, participating in the arts uh, or uh, observing others participating in the arts uh, is a wonderful thing to round out one's education. And uh, that's uh, why we're so excited about the things that are happening uh, here at Hasty Elementary School uh, because uh, some of the things that I've seen here just this morning uh, show that uh, uh, the arts are alive and well uh, and uh, they continue to challenge and excite uh, not only students uh, but adults. Another recent change has been the construction of the new Teasley Middle School, which opened earlier this year. Most of us here at Hastings will be going to Teasley for grades 6 through 8. What are some of the things that you are most excited about at our newest middle school? I am most excited about the wonderful quality of staff at the school. Uh, we have uh, an amazing principal and assistant principals, terrific teachers, uh, wonderful support staff. Uh, the technology uh, at the new Teasley School is absolutely amazing. Uh, the kinds of things that uh, students will be able to do there uh, are unprecedented. Uh, laboratory opportunities uh, for uh, kids as early as sixth grade uh, will be there. Uh, so uh, it just it will provide, I think, a great opportunity for kids that have already started with a great uh, education here at Hasty to move on to a middle school where uh, they can be uh, fully prepared to uh, participate when they get to high school and then go on to college. Winter is almost here, and all of us here at Haste are hoping for a snow day or two this year. I have read that you are the person who decides whether we go to school when winter weather comes. How do you decide whether school should be canceled due to weather? Well, first, I'd like to say that that's one of the least favorite things that I do. Uh, the, uh, but uh, there really is only one reason uh, that we close school or keep it open and that hinges on the issue of safety for students uh, and for staff. Uh, if we cannot safely transport students uh, on school buses uh, or if their parents can't safely transport them uh, in automobiles on uh, local highways to and from school, then we don't have school. And uh, as you know, there uh, are some parts of Cherokee County that uh, are very uh, hilly, uh, and when there's just even a little bit of ice, uh, that can create a, an unsafe uh, condition. So uh, that's the primary uh, thing that we're looking at. Uh, can we make sure that everybody can be delivered to school safely, uh, and based on weather predictions and projections, can we take them home uh, in the afternoon uh, and uh, do that safely as well? Finally, today is the last day of school before the Thanksgiving break. What are some of the things that you are most thankful for this year? Uh, I am most thankful for having a loving and healthy family, uh, and uh, I am uh, uh, very thankful uh, that uh, we have uh, such terrific students uh, at schools like uh, Hasty. Uh, I'm very thankful that uh, we're able to focus on the fine arts uh, in our system, uh, and uh, I'm, I'm very thankful that uh, our students are performing at such a high level. Uh, we have some of the best test scores in the state of Georgia, and uh, uh, I, I think our kids can compete with kids anywhere. Uh, and, uh, uh, but it's not just about test scores. You know, we have kids that I think are 
learning all the things that you need to know and be able to do in order to be a successful adult uh, and in order to have a good life. And uh, that makes me very proud as superintendent. Makes me very proud of the work that your principal and your teachers do every day uh, to make sure that you're getting the kind of education that will uh, open up all kinds of opportunities for you. Well, there you have it, folks. The mystery of life is the school superintendent has been solved once and for all. Dr. Petrozella, thank you very much for taking time out of your busy schedule to be our guest today. Thank you very much, and I'll be surprised if uh, you don't get an offer from Channel 11, you know, <laughs> to do a newscast for them. Thanks also to the crew of Mysteries of Life Plate, Ella Stalls, Summer McRoy, and Sarah Bell. And special thanks to Mrs. Brackett, Mrs. Goggins, Mr. Magruder, Lillian Klein, Coach Ramplos, and Coach Shaw for their help with the show. Most of all, thanks to you all for watching. We hope you'll join us next time as we learn more about how things work at our school and in our world on Mysteries of Life with Lady. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone! Dr. Petrozov, sorry, I almost said Mr. Magruder. <laughs> All right, ready, girls? One, two, three. All right. All right, Lainey. That was great. It was. Great answers. Great questions. All right. Keep up the good work. What do you say? Yeah.